So if the wheelbarrow and its contents have a mass of 60 kilograms and the center is at G, determine the magnitude of the total resultant force which the man must exert on the handles in order to hold the wheelbarrow in equilibrium. So in order to work out how much force needs to be applied at the end here, we need to draw ourselves a free body diagram. So I've copied down the shape of the um, question here. So we're going to draw just the forces acting on the wheelbarrow. So the first one I'm going to put on is the weight of the actual wheelbarrow. And we can assume that this acts through the center of gravity, which is G. And we know that weight is equal to mass times gravity. And it told us that the mass was 60 kilograms. So 60 by 9.8 gives us a total of 588 newtons. All right, so the other forces that we're going to have uh, one is that we know that this wheel is in contact with the ground, and this is like a roller support. So that means that there's going to be a vertical reaction perpendicular to the contacting surface, which is the ground. So if the ground is horizontal, the uh, force should be vertical. So let's call this AY. And then what we're asked to find is the force that the man must exert. So technically this man could push the wheelbarrow forward, and, it could, and he could... Um, pick it up and down as well. So that means that there could be both a horizontal and a vertical component of this force. So let's call it BY and BX. I've just assumed directions for these. Um, and also this one, remember it will come out negative if it's in the wrong direction. So we have our three equilibrium equations. You know, sum of forces has to be zero in both the X and Y directions for it to be in equilibrium, which is exactly what it's asking us for um, to calculate on. And the other equation we have is that the moments about any point have to be zero as well. So what we're interested in is figuring out Bx and By, but I think the easiest starting point would be to sum moments. And if we sum about this point here, B, to be equal to zero, we should be able to figure out um, Ay as a starting point. And then we can go back and figure out Bx and By using these other two equations. Okay. So, summing moments about B, we know that both of these act through the point, so that means that they're not going to contribute to the equation. We now have 588 newtons acting at a distance in here, which we can get from this other diagram. It's basically the distance between the handle and the center of gravity, which is 0 0.9 meters. And in terms of the direction about point B, this is going to try and push us anti-clockwise, so it should be positive. And then we've got the support AY acting at a distance in here that we should be able to get from the other diagram. So it's basically the distance between point A back to the handles horizontally. So 0.5 plus 0.9 gives us 1.4. And the direction, this is going to try and push us clockwise about point B, so it should be negative. So if we solve for this, AY comes out to be 378 newtons. And it comes out positive, that means the direction I had here was correct. So it is up. All right, so now we can go back and apply our other two equations to figure out these bx and by. So if I start by summing forces in the x direction, this comes out pretty easy. We've got only bx acting in that direction. So it's just going to have to be directly equal to 0. And then in terms of the y direction, we have 378 going up, so it's positive. We have uh, this weight force going down, so it's negative. And then we have By going up, so it's positive. So By here works out to 210 newtons, comes out positive, so direction was correct. So if we scroll back up, the question was asking us um, to determine the magnitude of the total resultant force, which the man must exert on the handles. Well, if we have no x component, that means that the resultant is just directly equal to the y component. So it's going to be 210 newtons. And if we look back up here, that is indeed one of the options. So that would be the answer. So that's all there is.